Ow! And welcome back to Redneck Snack Video Reviews. I am frustrated right now beyond any belief of your imagination. So, and it's not it's not Chipotle's fault, but I don't think Chipotle's helping me at all. I was midway through my review. I swear I pushed that freaking play button, folks. I swear I did it. And I look, and I notice, oh, it's, it's not recording. And I'm pissed because you got, got I, I parked somewhere where I thought, you know, I could just do a review in peace. You got someone catty corner just looking at me. You got someone that has to pull up beside me. So I just feel the pressure of people. And people just piss me off sometimes, folks. They just piss me off sometimes. So, I like I like kind of getting in my own zone. I like, you know, it, it, rather it's with someone or without someone. I like being in a zone where my environment doesn't distract me. So, there you go. Anyways, Chipotle, um, about a month ago, officially started doing quesadilla. Online orders only. I thought it was overhyped. Um, this other reviewer named Poppy Eats also did, and I was like, I'll watch his review because, like, you know, he's he's being straightforward about it. Unlike a lot of these goons who are just, you know, oh, this is so cool, online quesadilla. Oh no, no, no. So I was halfway through. I ate half the quesadilla, and I'll eat the other half just for you right now, and I'll have to eat the sides afterwards. Which is fine. I like their sides. I mean, their corn's great. Their rice is great. So I'm, I don't mind that too much. But I'm frustrated because I would have liked to eat the second half after doing the video. But here we are. Oh, and that kind of messes up my thumbnail a little bit. But what can we say? So I I can already tell you I gave it a well. Before we get there, please subscribe, like, comment, share. Check out my Instagram, right next to of Food. And no, Chipotle is not the reason I'm pissed. The people aren't the real reason I'm pissed. It's just been things. It's just been life. Sometimes life gets hard. Sometimes you hit a low, and it's just like right now I'm in the freaking low. And it's the worst time being in the low, too, because I need that positive energy. While, because I've, I've got one more week with my friends here in town, and I'm moving away. And I just don't need that vibe when I'm leaving. And it seems like a lot of times when I'm starting to move, when I'm starting to move on from things, that's when, when it hits a low vibe. And it's not because of moving on, it's just because of other things. And it's frustrating, people. It is frustrating. And I just forget to live in the moment, forget to enjoy things. And it's just like, you know, like I, I can't live in the moment of this review because it's just, everything is just like frustrating. It is. So, this is my avenue to just take out my anger because the people watching, they're not watching for the damn Chipotle, damn quesadilla. Y'all have seen that. You're watching because you, you know me, you like to watch my videos. So, I apologize. I'm pissed off. This is a six and a half to me. It is good. It's nothing more than good. You're probably better off going to a local uh, restaurant, something that's you know specializes in quesadillas. You know, I don't even. I guess this is better than Taco Bell. I was about to say, but you know, here's here's a good look at this, and then we'll just have another thing with the. So there you go, but yeah, it's a six and a half to me nothing special it's just their melted cheese their chicken i like their chicken but it's again it's just it's not flavorful like you would want in a quesadilla a lot of quesadillas they just got a lot of good seasoning and this is just a little blend you get the sides with it but you're supposed to kind of like eat that with a fork you can't really do nothing with a quesadilla but like i don't know it's it's disappointing to me it's like with what i saw poppy eats and i i don't watch a lot of reviews um, but I will watch them occasionally, and Poppy Eats, for some reason, I just watch his reviews sometimes, and I was like, you know, this bloke has a point, you know, he, he, he didn't want to review it, I wasn't going to review it, but, like, I ain't got nothing to review, so, this is a good late night review for you idiots who want to watch it, but you ain't an idiot, I'm an idiot, but, I, I, I say that because 
if you're watching it for the quesadilla, you kind of are an idiot. Like, you can get a quesadilla anywhere. I'm just saying. Just saying. Um, but no, I, I appreciate you guys. And I'm sure a couple of you will comment if you're, if you're you know, watching me struggle here. Um, I'm sure a couple of you will comment and be like, are you good? And I'll probably be like, I'm great. But right now, not so much. So let's go ahead and uh, start eating this thing so y'all can get a good look at me giving you in the moment stuff you know again I just it's it's very lacking it makes me think they actually go to Taco Bell, not Chipotle, you know? I think the issue here, folks, is, um, it's just their meat and cheese. And it's okay. But, I think like the corn sauce, I love it. I think a bowl or a burrito or tacos, all of them are better if you want Chipotle. But this just doesn't quite cut it, folks. I really hate to say that. But it's okay. It's a little overpriced. You pay about eight fifty where I am. And it's a six and a half. Cause it is a good portion of food and it meets the standard of a quesadilla like it's a little bit above taco bell it's not bad but again i'm not singing praises i'm not in great mood either so you know i agree with pop eats it's just kind of a waste of your money in my opinion um get anything else from chipotle maybe even get something get a quesadilla elsewhere but i don't know if you want to try their quesadilla that's fine it's okay but it's nothing that i would get again so that's my review i'm sticking to it hopefully i'll be in a better mood in the near future and i will see y'all around